Hi there, my name is Aoife Brady. I am the curator of Italian and Spanish art here at the National Gallery of Ireland, and I'm here to let you know that there's only a few weeks left to see our exhibition, Soroya, Spanish Master of Light. Today, I thought I would give you a little context on Soroya's work by showing you some of our own paintings from the permanent collection of the National Gallery of Ireland and comparing them uh, so you get an insight into who Soroya was and where he came from. So you're with me here in the Milltown Wing, looking at Velázquez's kitchen made with a supper at Emmaus. Velázquez was also a native Spaniard, and Soroya really revered him. He admired Velázquez's ability, in his own words, to render a miracle of illusion in brush and pigment. And we see this close attention to everyday life that Velázquez demonstrates in the kitchen made scene, repeated throughout Soroya's oeuvre. It's something you'll notice again and again. So Roya considered himself firmly a part of the Spanish painting tradition and he revered artists like Velázquez and Goya. He was once described by, by a contemporary as the grandson of Velázquez and the son of Goya. And he draws massive inspiration from, from Goya's paintings, not least his female portraits. Here we have Donna Antonia Zarate. And Soroya references portraits like this again and again, and we see it in our own exhibition here. When we look at Soroya's Maria with the Mantilla, a painting of his eldest daughter, we see the artist making direct reference to his predecessor in details like the black lace headdress, the traditional Spanish Mantilla, and the grace and elegance of the sitter's pose. Soroya and Sir John Lavery were close contemporaries and many of their paintings were exhibited alongside each other over the course of each individual artist's careers. Not least this, one of our recent acquisitions, Her First Communion, which hung amongst Soroya works in the 1902 Paris Salon, as well as the 1903 Venice Biennale. This painting, the artist's studio with Lady Lavery and her daughter and stepdaughter, refers directly to Spanish Golden Age painter Velázquez Las Meninas, a painting in the Museo del Prado, which was created in 1656. Here, Lavery pays homage to his, his Spanish predecessor in his tonality and his composition, reproducing details almost directly, just like his grey hand in the bottom right-hand corner, which sits in an identical position as the Spanish horse dog in Velázquez's own work. Soroya also makes reference to Las Meninas in several of his own paintings, and we see this over and over in our exhibition. The upturned canvas on the right-hand side suggesting his own presence, and the dark tonalities that he paints certain portraits with, including the portrait of his three children, my family. Soroya is often compared to the French Impressionists, who also painted outdoors and were very interested in the effects of light. That being said, the French Impressionists were active much earlier than Soroya and most were several decades older than the Spanish artist. Monet was the artist that described Soroya as the master of light, having seen an exhibition of his paintings in Paris in 1906. Degas and Rodin joined Monet to see Soroya's work there and Degas supposedly left without saying a word. John Singer Sargent and Soroya were both considered avant-garde painters of their time. They were close contemporaries who took similar interests in painting scenes of everyday life on plein air. Soroya and Sargent were even friends for a time, and when Soroya visited London in 1908, he supposedly dined and socialised for several days with Sargent. 